So today in this video, I'm going to show you uh, how to do these super cute um, charms. But I'm just going to tell you what you need for these. Um, they're so easy to make, and it's just they just turn out so cute. Mm, I do them with polymer clay, um, and in Spanish they're called fimo. And I just love how they turned out. They're just so cute. And I believe these are called kawaii charms because they have these cute eyes. So this is a hamburger. As you can see it has the hamburger and um, the stuff. And it's a, I made it a keychain for your keys. As you can see. And that is okay. And then I have um, these best friend yin yang, which I made these up. I didn't like see no tutorial or anything. So when you turn around, it says yin yang. Um, <clears throat> and um, this one's smiling, and this one's not smiling. And as you can see, it has a bite out of it. And then this is just a cookie cookie bread something like that it doesn't look like a cookie but it's you can see it's and I made it a necklace because I just love it this is supposed to be a necklace too but I don't have the string for it so yeah uh, so as you can see that he has some cute eyes and smile and M M's all over like stuff anyway so let's get started The types of polymer clays there is, there's Primo Sculpey and Fimo Soft, that's the one I use. And then there's Sculpey Tree and uh, ones, where you, ones where you can get them from thrift stores, which I don't really recommend the thrift stores, thrift, sorry guys, thrift stores polymer clay because they just like, they don't really look good like I think. And so this is the one I use, this is the original one, I love it, it turns out really good. And this is from my kit, which I got. This is how it would look like at the front. Uh, I got the kit because I just wanted to try it out first. So, yes. And um, if you didn't get the one with the kit, you would get these separately. They're like bigger from bigger. But I, as you can see, I've already used mine to make little figurines. So I really use the tan clay because uh, I make these figurines with the tan clay. Uh, so let's get to the other category. Okay, so the first thing, first thing I use is some dot, the dotting tools, which you can get from nail, nail salons or just like your thrift shop or like. Just like any any shops that you can find for nails or just any nail shop or whatever and then um, this figure which you can get from your kitchen or just buy it from uh, like anywhere like Carrefour, Tesco, whatever um, yeah so a brush which you will definitely need uh, this and this which you will need to hang on as you can see I have them on everything literally like that um, some powder which I did with my pastels um, some paper, some sandpaper, and um, keychain which you can get. All of this I'm sure you can get from your craft store. So for my offs I use nail polish because sometimes on my polymer clay uh, I get hairs or something um, like perhaps a different color you've done, you've got on your 
like tools and they've gotten on your um, clay and also I use swabs uh, cotton swabs uh, so I can take them off I also use nail polish for my eyes or something I want to write on I use nail polish white and nail polish black or you can use acrylic paint but I like to use uh, nail polish so yes, let's get on to the next part. Okay, so my tips for Fimo are bake at 115 degrees from 20 to 30 minutes. It depends on the figure. If it's fat and stiff, you bake it for 30 minutes. If it little and with not so much uh, stuff on it just do it for 50 uh, tw 20 to 25 minutes um, don't use markers or pencils because they will get off and it does not get pretty use gloves if your hands are like dirty or you know that hairs are going to get on it or something always do it in light I mean, please people, don't do it in the dark because it will get ugly. If you don't have nail polish, I mean, if you don't have your varnish up from Fimo, use your normal nail polish varnish. Next, always put on glue at the top of this so it won't get off because my one has got off and yeah you can put it back in with glue but I prefer putting it on before you bake it okay um, <clears throat> clean it before you bake it so clean it always clean it with your nail polish remover or with some alcohol your cotton swab and make it clean and nice so thanks for watching guys don't forget to subscribe like and comment bye